<laughs> Honey Heart C. Mini fans, today we are gonna be doing a painting craft video. Oh yes. Okay, so we've all seen the beautiful, beautiful Briarfest early bird raffle model. This is Sokar. And I'm gonna be painting a model that is inspired by this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful horse. The only way you can get this beautiful, beautiful model is at Briarfest, and that's if you win the early day raffle. So there are only three of these models in existence, but today, woo, looks like I'm gonna be giving this horse a makeover to look just like him. All right, are you ready? So we are gonna be doing some painting today. So as you can see, Soaker has this beautiful black coat coloring and a couple of some white marking legs. He's got some white socks on his feet. So the first thing we're gonna do to get started is I'm gonna be painting in his white markings. Now, I don't like to use a pure, pure, pure white whenever I do my horse marking colors. I like to use kind of an off-white. So this is called Oyster White. And I think it just makes it look just a little bit more realistic when you use an off-white color. So I'm gonna dip my paint brush in the paint just like that and then dip it in a little bit of some water and I'm going to paint all the areas that he has white markings so he's got white on his feet dee, 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 dee. and I can have it go all the way up that's okay to have just a little extra because we're gonna be painting the rest of him black anyways you will not be able to tell how high up I got this paint the whole point is to get this paint nice and smooth it's better to have multiple thin layers of paint instead of one really thick coat that's just how I like to do my painting dee, 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 dee. So nice, thin little layer covering each one of his little feet, including his hooves. Do, 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 do. And of course, don't forget to paint the bottom of his hooves. Then I'm gonna take some paint and create his blaze that he has down his face. So just paint it right on there. There we go. And that paint can be nice and thick, but you just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Then once that first coat dries, I'm just gonna go in with more and more layers until the color of his socks are completely nice and strong and they don't look streaky at all. Same thing with the blaze down his face. I'm just gonna keep applying paint, nice thin layers until it's nice and thick. All right, he's all dry now and he is looking absolutely amazing. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add in the details to his hooves. So he's got a little bit of some tan peachy kind of color going on. So I'm gonna mix up these two colors to create the perfect, perfect hoof color. I've got classic caramel and a touch o pink. Give him a good shake. Put a little bit of some peach on here and add a tiny little touch of my caramel color. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna mix these two together. Oh, that is a really nice color. There we go. Really, really pretty light tan color. A little bit of some pink in there. I may even yellow it up just a little bit by using this golden straw color. I can add a tiny, tiny bit of golden straw to the color just a little bit, just to kind of give it a little bit of a glow to it. I think that looks really good. I'm gonna take this color, dip it in a little bit of water, and very, very lightly, I'm going to paint the hoof color. Very, very lightly, just one coat. And I want my brush to be really, really watered down. I have a lot of water on my brush. Very light. And I wanna keep that paint from pooling over. So anywhere I see like it's kind of pooling like a little bit right in this area, I'm just gonna touch it just a little bit and keep that paint moving. There we go. We do not want it to clump together. I just want it to be nice and soft on the hoof. See how it's kind of clumping right here a little bit? I'm just gonna touch it with my brush and just kind of move it along. Move it along. Keep on moving. No clumpy time. Then you get a nice soft color like that for our base color. All right, now that these hooves are nice and dry, that was just our base coat. Now I'm gonna mix up some more of that color, but not using as much of the yellow. Just kind of mix it together, mix, 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 mix. Tiny touch of yellow in there, just a little bit. There we go. And I've got some paint now on my brush. Dip it in the water just a little bit. Kind of put it right back into my paint here, just like that, so it's now very watery. And now I'm just going to start painting the hoof again, and I'm going to paint one hoof at a time, and I'm not gonna go all the way up. And I'm gonna dip my brush back in the water and just kind of slowly fade that color in there. So I'm lightly adding in some color without going all the way up. Add a little bit more color in there. So I have a really, really wet brush, so now I'm just going 
going to paint it on the hoof, just like that, all of my wet, wet paint. Then I'm gonna dip it in some water again, and now I'm just kinda gonna paint from the top and just kinda wipe some of that paint away, just a little bit. There we go, so it's a little bit lighter at the very top of the hoof, and it gets darker as it goes down. So I'm gonna paint this whole hoof like this. I'm doing one hoof at a time. There we go. And can't forget to paint the bottom of the hoof too. We gotta build that color on the bottom. Dip it in some water. And now I'm going to just paint the very top here. You're almost kind of removing the paint that you just applied. So just very lightly, very, very lightly. Cause he's got a little bit lighter hoof color at the very top of his hoof. There we go. All right, now that those hooves are dry and layer by layer, I'm just gonna be adding a little tiny light amount of paint to each one of his hooves until it has a nice, beautiful little color gradient going on. And my paint is very, very, very watered down because I want it to have just a little tiny hint of color. And just keep blending and blending and blending until the hooves look just the way you want them to look. His hooves look absolutely beautiful. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my off-white paint and just touch up any areas just in case some of his hoof color got a little little bit into his little white socks. Just a little touch up, just a little bit. Now we're gonna work on the tiny little touch of pink that he has right on his muzzle. So I'm just gonna mix up these two colors that I used for his feet, the Tucho Pink and the Golden Straw. And just like on a little piece of wax paper, I'm gonna take just a little bit of my pink, put it on my wax paper, tiny little touch of the Golden Straw. Ooh, might be a little bit too much yellow. Just dip a little bit of some water onto it, add a little bit more pink in till I get the color that I like for it. I want it to be more pink than yellow. That yellow is there just to add just a little bit of just a little extra coloring. And that looks really good. So I just keep dipping my paintbrush in some water to get this paint really, really watered down. I love this color. And then very, very, very lightly on his nose, I'm going to touch this color in just like that. Just add a little bit of that color. Do, 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 do just like that. And as I get higher and higher up, I'm gonna add a little bit of white that I painted his blaze and just kind of mix it in there. A little bit of some water on my brush. There we go. To kind of mix those two colors together. And it just adds a tiny, tiny, tiny little touch of pinking to him. Just absolutely perfectly, just how I want it to look. All right, everything is looking so amazing on him. He's got his feet, he's got his stalks, and now he's got his little coloring on his nose. Now we're actually gonna turn him into Sokar. So we're just going to now paint him completely black, being very careful going around areas of his face and areas of his legs. So I've got my black acrylic paint. Give it a shake. Boop, boop, boop. This is the fun part because now it's really going to start looking like him. So I'm going to dip my paint in the black so it's very thick on black, but I'm going to be using a lot of water to dilute my paint and keep my paint really, really thin. That's what I really want to do because I do not want a whole bunch of streak marks on the body. So anytime it looks streaky, I'm just going to go in with some more water and just really water that paint down. And again, I'd rather do multiple thin layers and have it be really smooth than do one or two really thick coats and it have it be really, really thick and streaky and paintbrushy. Do not want it to be paintbrushy at all. So this first coat is gonna look a little sparse, but that's totally, totally fine. And I'm only gonna paint just a little bit down to his legs here, because I'm gonna go in and paint the leg detail on a little bit later, but I just wanna paint his body nice and smooth. Keep that paint smooth, smooth, smooth. This is the goal here. See how shiny and glossy he looks? You can barely see any paint streaks, and that is just exactly what I want. Once that coat of paint dries. Now that we've got the very first coat on, you can see it's very, very, very streaky and that's okay. I want it to look like that because that means I'm doing soft enough layers so they're very, very light. I'm gonna add in some more black paint. Just dip it in some water to really get that water flowing on there and just start painting. Now it does help to paint the model upside down. That way if you have too many drippies, it doesn't drip into our legs where we already painted because those are all done. Just keep this paint nice and smooth. Ooh, this coat color is really, really dark already. This looks great. And I can start creeping now into the white paint just a little bit. And I wanna be careful because I'm gonna start sculpting and shaping those leg markings really soon here. I just wanna make sure I keep that paint nice and smooth, nice and smooth. No streak marks. And I'm using a really thick little paintbrush too. It's a really, really soft, soft, soft paintbrush. So it's not gonna leave any streak paint marks or anything as bad. As long as I keep that paint nice and wet and nice and flowing, we should be good. 
Just watch for any drippies like this little drippy right here. It looks like it kind of wants to start to drip, so I have to be careful of that. Don't want it to drip anywhere except for on the black. Keep it on the black. All right, his second coat of paint now is all dry, and he still looks a tiny touch splotchy right here. I can see his undercoat a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a third coat of paint. Again, I'm still keeping my paint super duper watered down. Nice and thin and nice and smooth. There we go. Just wanna keep it as smooth as I possibly can. Do, 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 do. Paint him all over. Make sure there's some really good coverage. All right, now he's had a chance to dry and his coat is looking perfect. I mean, look at how smooth his coat is. There are no paint streakies or anything. This is exactly how I wanted him to look. Now we're gonna add the details of his little feet. So we're gonna add his little socks on now. So I'm gonna go to now a smaller paintbrush. It's not as full. So I'm going to dip it into some black paint, then into some water, but not too much. I don't want my paint to be too runny now because now it could drip all over the white little markings and I don't wanna do that. And now using the picture as a reference, I'm just going to start sculpting in his little markings that he has. So it looks like it comes quite far down here. About like that. And I'll just start making all the little markings. That looks pretty good. Now we'll do this little sock that he has. Got another little sock going on this leg. And add it in carefully, carefully, carefully because it's always better to have too little instead of too much. So I don't wanna overdo it with the black paint at all. Cause you can easily add in too much. I wanna add in just enough. And he's got another really small little sock on this foot. Have it come all the way down. Here we go. All right, now that we have the feet all painted, now it's time to focus on that face. So I'm going to be painting in his blaze and just re-sculpting it. And it has its own little shape and detail that it does that goes all the way down to his face here. So now I have an even smaller brush and I'm going to dip it in my black like that. A little bit of water on my brush. And then I'm gonna dip it on a paper towel to take some of that excess water. And I am just going to now sculpt in his face. Right, so I love his little facial marking. It looks perfect. Now I'm gonna start painting his eyes and he has absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a toothpick and using my little off-white color that I used to paint his markings, I'm just gonna dip it in the little paint and in the corner, I'm actually going to paint in his eyeball a tiny little doot. There we go. Now we're gonna start getting into that dreamy eye color. He's got the softest, sweetest little blue eyes. So a color that I think would be really good would be this blue cotton color, but it's a little bit too dark for my liking. So I'm gonna lighten it up just a little bit, even though that color is pretty. So on a little wax paper, I'm gonna take my color, do, 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 do. mix in a little bit of my off-white color. There you go, and just lighten it up just a little bit there to create a really icy blue color. That looks beautiful. Then I'm gonna go back with my toothpick and right Right on my toothpick, I'm gonna add a little bit of some paint here. Do, 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 just like that, a nice little globby of it. There we go, very carefully. Just get out the outline of his blue eyes and let that dry. Now as soon as his beautiful blue colored eyes are dry, now I'm gonna go in using my toothpick just like a paintbrush. I'm going to put a big little globby. There's a nice little glob amount on here, but I have to really control this toothpick and just shape his eye. So he's got these really big, big, beautiful, beautiful eyes. There we go. I just gotta make sure I keep that globby on there. And really shape that eye. There we go, very nice. Now, it actually looks like he has a little bit of black in between the white and the blue, just a little bit to kind of outline his eye a little bit. There we go, just color it in just a little bit, just like that. Now it looks just like him. Very, very nice. Now the last thing to do is make him super glossy, so I'm gonna be using some of this clear glaze and spray it all over him. All right, where is he, where is he, where is he? Where where is Sokar? Do, 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 do. Oh, here he is! Oh, I think he looks so perfect! Look at that face! Woo! Okay, I think he looks really beautiful. Totally inspired by 
by this gorgeous, gorgeous model that you can only get at Briarfest. So he looks really, really cool, super duper glossy. I think he turned out absolutely perfectly, especially the way that his fading from his muzzle goes in. Just really nice, subtle, subtle color. His hooves look really, really good with that color. There's just enough hint of color and you can kind of see how it kind of ombres and just kind of fades out just a little bit there. I mean, he is just glossy, glossy, glossy and absolutely perfect. I am crazy about him. I think it looks pretty much like him. So I'm really happy with that. Woo! Now I found it interesting because on Briar's website, they described him as a splash pinto. So maybe the actual model has some white little pinto markings on him, but this is just what I could see. So this is my inspiration version of the gorgeous, gorgeous model. And I think he turned out very nicely. So absolutely stunning and glossy, glossy, glossy. Woo! All right, mini fans. So I hope you enjoyed this customization video of painting Sokar because I think he just looks so cool. I'm so excited to see more models that Briar is going to be releasing at Briarfest. I hope you have the most glossiest, happiest day ever today. Don't forget to subscribe for more horse crazy fun. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, mini fans. Eee! Hey, that's so cool that you're here. I heard there's something like only like five or ten of you ever made at Briarfest. Actually, that's not the right number. The right number is... How many so cars are made?